I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? Judge. Wait, what? I have I accidentally clicked. Hey, but why? I skipped it. But why? For insurance, of course. And air quotes insurance. I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for a fool? I didn't make chief or police chief by dumb luck. It was smart luck. <laughs> See this jar fragment? Yes? I hit the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. OBJECTION! But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on the jar too? I am still Santa Claus. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Come on, Ryder, cough it up already. I know you have it. Uh, what are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you yes, come on. then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off of the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do all that. I didn't want to have to do that being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Ryder. Should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory's mine. Shed. Can I show evidence again? No, do it. Okay. That'd be fucking weird, actually. Alright, well, show evidence. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Okay, okay, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. But we're not showing the cloth, are we? No, we are showing the cloth. We are? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, because it's proof that we have that he had it in a safe that admits to him being the forging or whatever concealing evidence. Now that we've had him admit to it. All right, fuck it. Take. Take. Let me verify this one more time. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes, at last you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth! Your Honor, the prosecution requests that be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There, could, there must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. Huh? You mean? It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence! I can smell it! Blah, 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 blah. Who wants presents? 
You're slow on the uptake as ever, Worthing. What? Think about it. Rado had all this time to present the evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? Hmm. You mean you already knew? No. You know whose fingerprints are on that. And Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I'll tell you. Yes, please. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whom these fingerprints belong to are... Emma? Because they do. Right? I mean, we wouldn't lie about it. Yeah, I mean, like, lying about it would be bad. Because, I mean... They are her fingerprints, we've done this before. Do it. Should we do it? Do it! Alright. Uh... Oh boy. Presenting him a sky. Emma? Emma Skype? What? That's not my last name, is it? No, not really, Emma. But... No, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Emma. What? Why are you sorry? Why didn't you tell me either? Oh my god, I didn't tell it. Uh, right, right. Oh ho ho ho. Oh really something, Ryder. You knew I was You knew this girl did it all along. And you still tried to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. Hold it! How could you? You monster! Miss Sky! You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you... You acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. But I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. Fuck you, Gant. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. Uh-huh. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your bags, boy. He's the first person interested in it. Yeah, finally. Jesus. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. Also, there's one thing I don't get. Mm hmm. Even if Emma did push Marshall, what does this have to do with Goodman? Well, this uh, is... we're trying to prove that Gant has control over Lana that yeah. made him put her to do all the things. Which, why well, I mean, it's been proven. Exactly. So, why does it matter if Emma did it or not? They don't, he doesn't realize that it's been proven because he's fucking stupid. So, I think that's what we're getting to. I see. Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Hmm. Before I do that, it's just one little thing I gotta clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Professor Neil Marshall? <laughs> I did it. Hello. No, I mean, what? Chief Gant, you're absolutely right. This piece of gloss proves that the real murderer is, uh, who killed near Marshall, you ask. It was Emma Skye, wasn't it? No, you're fucking old. 
Uh, I'm afraid that's not really possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? What a contradiction? What's this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. Oh my god, what? M Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth, what could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, you're tearing a rain ends here, buddy. Brother. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. What? I'm not helping you. Fuck. Is that a bagel? Look at the Where? Oh, oh, that's a badge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing he's trying to take from us. Yeah, man, he wants that. We've had it the whole game. We've never used it. Except we use it bagel? once. Yeah. Like, show him how to, that you're really a lawyer. Shit. All right. <laughs> With a bagel? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that proves anything. Well, if you examine it further, you'll see how it kind of- it's like a pin. But I can see how it could be a bait. Delicious. Snake, you got any ideas? Because Russ ain't helping us out. I am checking. What a- what- what- what the hell is this blue sonic <clears throat> thingy mabob down there? Oh, that's the blue badger. He's the police mascot. Yeah, he's amazing. <laughs> he's, he was made by a man named uh, Dick Buckus. Dick Buckus, good man. Oh. oh. Really, Dick Gumshoe. I like it. I'm not oh, looking we all at chat it. for anyone that's freaking out. I know chat's blowing up right now, but I'm not looking out for this. Draggy, if you get a chance, there's a security video. You should check that out. Oh, that's fucking then awesome. Can, then you can see the blue badger in action. Yeah. <laughs> Go check it out. Oh, while, the, go check it out tick. right now. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. I'm checking it out. Check it out check while it. we're while we're figuring this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is creeping me out. Okay. There's a guy. That thing is amazing. I want one. <laughs> that has an amazing song goes with it. Even know what you're trying to can contradict here? I'm just trying well, to that think. guy got killed! Guys! I think I just found the murderer. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it is There's the guy, guy in the coat. Oh. I solved it. <laughs> Jake <laughs> Marshall. Jake Marshall dressed as John G uh, was it what was the first name? Bruce, Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Yeah, John Goodman. Our actor. victim. Yeah. Fuck, dude. This is fucking hard. The piece that contradicts this cloth, it should be the cloth itself because it's oily. That's my fucking guess. What about the fact that it's not bloody? I was thinking that, but... Because in the picture, all that around that's bloody as fuck. So... Alright, so... One, it's the oil. Or two, it's the bloody thing. That's that's my two guesses, at least. Because why would it be oil, you know? The robot did it. The robot probably did it. But the robot Letters wasn't made at the time. Oh. Well... <laughs> Lack of blood is what I would go with, because it doesn't... 
he doesn't make sense that it wouldn't be. Yeah. If he cleaned the blood, he would have cleaned the print as well. Yeah. That's... Well, if we both agree on that, then we should probably hit it up, because Russ ain't gonna help us. It's true. I'm going with the cloth? No, we're going with Alana's picture. Wait. What? The last thing. Okay. Alright. Alright. This is gonna Lana's be... picture, you said? Yeah. Alright. Alright, here we go. We're gonna... Here we're trying it. Whew. Take it. Uh, it didn't fucking... It did... Fuck. Read it. And what exactly is it supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. Every time I laugh. See where the- oh my god, did it work? See where the piece of his vest was cut out. Holy shit, this was this it? Yes. His shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth... Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, motherfucker. Hey, don't call me that. Sorry. Wait. There's no blood on it! Yes, we got it, dude! High five, man! Nah. Since Emma Sky's <coughs> fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword! Oh, it's the theme! Here it is! No, th this is nonsense. Shut the fuck up! Now then, Chief Gant! Let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he shoved was shoved aside! He most likely hit his head on the ground when he was and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor sword. Mm. Then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said pro person proceeded to write her name on the jar in the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue. And make Lana believe her sister did it! Remember what you admitted only moments ago. That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of victim's cloth. Vest, whatever. Ironic, yeah? Through the very act of creating insurance, air quotes. You prove that you were the actual murderer. Super no! Saiyan 4. It's finished. Oh. What the? <laughs> oh, that was close, Rado. You almost had me. What? Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute all your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, uh, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Fucking hell! Order! Order! What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Ugi. Early old Rido here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Rido? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? you... Uh, your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Time. Well. That's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth 
cease to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. Fuck. In a machine. I'm afraid Miss Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Miss Edgeworth, Mr. Edgeworth, sorry I get confused. I understand. I'm old. <laughs> True, illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright? Uh, it seems... Last, the time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposefully and illegally concealed this piece of cloth? I did not, right? I did not. And you know why. I did not. I did not! Certainly. I refuse to present evidence at one point. A house of the evidence is illegal. Shut the fuck up, man! It's not, Mr. Gant. Hmm? I'm pretty sweaty in that, by the way. It's not that I, air quotes, didn't present evidence then. It's that I, air quotes, couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, actually, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You can't let him. Objection! There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. The book. Evidence law book. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah! Take it! This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth here. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth. Nothing you want me. more. <laughs> he already gave you the what, mate. I guess he did. You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself. Inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What, what kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and- Objection to the things you speak in. Sorry, but can you recall, when was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth is, was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. <laughs> you yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more and more. On the day of the crime, why am I? You purposely, personally, cut out this piece of the victim's vest, man. 
Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> no. It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Mm. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. And there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gantz! The killer was you! <laughs> Holy... <laughs> 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 I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime exactly wasn't petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Starr, then convict or convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down as he ought to. So Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted me to file, he wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he had to speak out. Oh, this is why he killed him. What are you talking about, Goodman? And, and... Traggy, you're Goodman. Yep, Traggy. Am I Goodman? You, you are oh, now. We've never had a Goodman before. Can you please reopen the investigation, Jeev? We can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. He... He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked too. I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. I couldn't just pull it out. I had the problem a lot. <laughs> you would only